Welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the wireframe management. I'm going to provide several tips and techniques in this lesson that allows you to effectively manage your wireframe design. So first is the box. In other words, this is the minimal visual building block of a wireframe and it's called the box, right? Think of this as, as a container if you are familiar with let's say bootstrap framework it serves the same purpose okay so everything happens in the box whether this box is for the desktop whether this is for the mobile device layout that you're creating whether it's ios or android or your tab could be anything right but the minimal visual building block of a wireframe is the box so boxes usually contain a uniform kind of content, right? Not the individual elements. It's important, however, to choose the right level of breakdown to support the discussion. So as you create your story, right? As you create your theme, as you're building your layout, as you're creating this nice looking wireframe. So you use these boxes So think of the layout design as, as boxes, right? So think in terms of boxes. You stack these boxes and you create a certain environment, right? Whether you want to create a tower or a flat design. So it just depends. So important thing here is to make sure that you have uniform kind of content. So here's a visual illustration of what you may encounter or you create these boxes so this can be vertical this can be horizontal the width and height and so forth so it depends on your own requirement as to what it is that you're creating so for example if you were to take a look at Twitter wireframe boxes right so if you navigate to twitter.com evaluate their site their landing page and other pages you'll notice the box framework okay so I'll leave that to you as an exercise, by the way, to go out there, explore the Twitter site and other sites as well, and keep thinking in terms of boxes. Evaluate the theme, the visual layout, how easy it is for the user, right? We're interested in the user behavior, not the interactive elements, but the interaction design. So here's an example of uh, Twitter, for example, the way they have structured their layout right so they can have a theme where they can have three of the same boxes for example and within those large boxes you have smaller boxes with their own sizes and width and recall the balance the proximity the contrast all plays into part when you're creating your wireframe design so these are are helpful tips and techniques as to when you create your own website and place elements using ProtoShare, Balsamic, or any other software tool, you ought to be able to memorize these tools and techniques or tips and techniques. So try working with patterns as another tip as much as possible to support memory and learning. Your wireframe can easily get out of control because your site is not just one page or two pages. There can be hundreds of pages, thousands of pages. So try working with patterns as much as possible to support memory and learning, making the interface trustworthy. So as a user, right, put yourself in the user's shoes. What if I were to visit this website? What's going to happen? Am I finding it easy to use? If I purchase a product on this site, how easy it is to check out? Are the buttons large enough? Can I see them? And so forth. So it's just the behavior patterns. So practice, go online, take a look at, understand the concept of interaction design. And once you start visualizing these sites and navigating from one site to the other, take a look at what appeals you and then post it in the discussion area. We'll love to have those discussions as we move forward. So just a brief lesson on some of the tips and techniques on wireframe management. So I hope this helps. Let's move to the next lesson.